Hello and good day again to everyone. So here's another video under the subject principles and theories of language acquisition and learning. So we've been talking about the language acquisition and learning, okay? And this time we're going to know on how a certain factor affects learning or what are the different factors that affect learning okay because we're going to talk about nature versus nurture okay so we have this expert that contributed to this debate uh, nature versus nurture so we have Skinner versus Chomsky okay so let's see what side is Skinner in okay so we have uh, Skinner, he said that language acquisition is due to bad habit formation, okay? So, habit formation, okay? Which side is he in, okay? So, nature or nurture? Then, Chomsky, humans have an innate capacity for language development. So, if that's the stand of Chomsky, innate capacity for language development, then that is pertaining to nature okay so this is just a brief introduction for the in that uh, to discussion of topic okay that we're going to have for our next uh, video lessons okay so skinner is under nature okay so language acquisition as a result of nurture okay so let's read behaviorist propose that a child's environment is the most important factor in first language acquisition and if a child is exposed to rich language then good habit formation and proper language development will occur so this is talking about the influence of environment and when we say environment okay so the individual is being nurtured by the surrounding okay so this is really nurture according to this passage okay and then in contrast okay language development an innate neurological process okay so when we say innate it's already there okay and when we say neurological it is something to do with our bodily systems okay so it's saying here that language development is an innate neurological process okay it's there in our body it's being processed by our body so let's read for language development to occur interaction has to take place language cannot be acquired passively although imitation and habit forming do have a role in language acquisition children seem predisposed to acquire speech and competency in language by being able to map language possibly onto what noam chomsky calls a language acquisition device or the very famous called la lad okay so this one okay it's pertaining to the nature side of this debate nature versus nurture okay and for the next topics okay we're going to have the different theories of first language acquisition and your role is to categorize whether this theory belongs to this side of the nature versus nurture debate okay so you anticipate that we're going to talk about the first one the behavioristic approaches the nativist approach cognitive theory the functional approaches and the stages in child language acquisition okay so for other queries just comment down below thank you for watching goodbye and have a nice day